one Dan Zidi. Everywhere you go, you see that. You never see a youth who the police in my life to blow out. Chiman man. If you hear what Zidi said, <laughs> the boss. Great look, man, you fuck. My target is that I wish everybody over 18 or over 12 should have the vaccine. I have not been stuck on the 65% number. Maybe have some time. Three months or six months, but they have enough. They have enough. They have some time. Yeah. And what's the government's current vaccination target? And you were looking for 65% of my. You know, my target is that I wish everybody over 18 or over 12 should have the vaccine. I have not been stuck on the 65% number anymore because I think the virus is best neutralized if we all buy into it. Right now, we have administered about 1.2 million doses, only 500 and thousand. Just under 600,000 have got a full complete, whether the JNJ for single dose or the double dose. So we're, we are way below the target. We're 22% fully vaccinated. And, uh, you know, we really need to move with a, a pace to get more people on board. So, again, I'm hoping that more people will come on board. And we'll continue to provide them the opportunity. And finally, right, any plans to change the policy as it relates to vaccination of children on the toilet? as it's been done in other countries. We probably would have done that already if the vaccines were available. They, they, it's a different concoction, a different formula to size a vaccine for children, which we don't have and we can't get. The team is in dialogue with the manufacturers. It's not just about the manufacturers, it's about the countries where the manufacturers manufacture. And the fact that those those future production has been bought up by the developed countries. So if we could get supplies, and we are in discussions to try and get supplies, it's not just a function of the money that you have and the willingness to buy, it's a function of availability, which involves some bilateral discussion as well as the manufacturer's supplies. What kind of hesitancy do you think that it is yes. necessary? Or in any sense to get it for children? You know, I take the view. And that's why I don't, more, I don't, I don't cry over the the dumping to the extent that it influences my decision to not want to purchase, because I take the view that it should we should make it available. So whether hesitancy is ten percent or hundred or eighty percent, that twenty percent that wants it should be allowed the opportunity to get it. And I think that's the action of a responsible vote. Better we err on the side of caution. Done. Bless up my viewers, all of my subscribers, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the dailies updates. So right now my viewers, Nicoli, Nicolio Lewis from St. James is wanted for some slap away in the parish. So if seen, please contact the nearest police station. Or call 119 or 311. Get them picture, share the video, get them picture out there so the relevant authorities can see them and pick them up. Kenroy Tika, aka Mr. Roach, is also wanted. Age 31, address Amtam District, St. James. He's wanted also for some slap away, also. So if seen, Please to contact the nearest police station. If you have seen or know if it any information, please contact the Montego Bay Police at 876-684-9080 or 311. So anybody who have any information on them brother, please to contact the police. They mute ya. Some serious 87 where we don't nothing have around, you know, because 
you could be the next victim of the hands of these 87. So right now, quick and fast. Information reaching JNN News Channel is that the old spooky, spooky, spooky situation where we are get for Anderson say the little nine year old where they drop out down a Montego Bay and the mother did get a one lick in her face. The information reaching the news channel is that this little case is very, very, very spooky. Some of us, what we I get for understand is that the mother and the stepfather of the child is indeed involved somehow with the slap away of the young one. Some of you as I'm a sub, the thing are still sketchy because we have two different police record, two different police reports. Can we are get for understand say it wasn't the police who actually find the vehicle. It was in fact the mother and the stepfather who find the vehicle. So we are get for understand also is that when the mother get Jota car and E87 them drive with the car, the mother was assist by a passerby where she contacted her husband, Mr. Issa. When contacted, you know, Mr. Issa had a fly on the seat. Then the both of them went in search of the car and the young one. But the first report that we got was that she contacted the police and the police launched an investigation. And that's how they found the car with the little boy inside. But in fact, in true and in fact, that wasn't the case. It was the mother and her husband who find the car. So write this and then, then play a little hero role. If you go look for the car or for pursue the 87 themselves. Some of you as them pull off a little Superman type of thing if you go find what the vehicle themselves. So right there and then we can pick out nonsense, send us out a nonsense and she say something spooky, something not add up. In a case like that, the first thing me would do, I call the feds them. Call the relevant authorities them. For them come in, for come come do them after do. Them for the 87 them did arm. Um, how that would I go? So any of my viewers wanna leave on the thoughts on the comments down below in the comment section. So quick and fast until another upload. Because I live good, work good, and be safe. And remember to share the video. Bless up.